So this is 7.14 out of the Taylor book. And it says, the figure, which I have here, shows a model of a yo-yo. A matchless string is suspended vertically from a fixed point, and the other end is wrapped several times around a uniform cylinder of mass M and radius R. When the cylinder is released, it moves vertically um, down, rotating the string on winds, blah, blah, blah. It wants us to write down the Lagrange Lagrangian and define the equations of motion and show the cylinder uh, accelerates down at, uh, at that amount. So the way that we do this is we're going to start with our position. And the one we're interested in is an x, and x is just equal to x. We're interested in the x-axis, which is positive going down. And the velocity is just the time derivative of position. So x dot is equal to x dot. Just take the time derivative of position. Once we have velocity, we can find the kinetic energy pretty easily. Now it mentions that we need to remember from elementary physics that our kinetic energy, T, for a rotating body, is one half m v squared plus one half i omega squared. I, uh, so I, they give us the geometry, and they tell us the moment of inertia is one half m r squared. The other thing that's important to remember is x dot is equal to r omega. So omega dot is equal to x dot over r all squared. And then we can plug that in for our kinetic energy. So we have t is equal to 1 half m x dot squared. This is our linear velocity. Plus 1 half i, which is 1 half mr squared times omega squared which is x dot over r squared and we can see for example the r squareds there drop so we get one fourth m x dot squared okay and then we can combine these, so 1 half plus a fourth is 3 fourths mx dot squared. And now we have our kinetic energy. And then the next thing we need is our potential energy, which is pretty easy. It's just minus mgx. The minus, so normally we say y, but x's are up and down in this case, so that's x is just what's uh, going to be what we use here because that's just how we define our axis. And because down is positive, the fact that it's going down gives us the negative mg. And then lastly, well not lastly, but close, we can do the Lagrangian, which is t minus u, which is equal to t minus u. Now with the Lagrangian, we can use the Euler Lagrangian to describe the motion. In this case, we'll start with the x motion. So the Lagrangian in the x direction is dl dx minus d by dt dl dx dot. And there's actually no other coordinates we're even interested in, so perfect. Now dl by dx will leave us with just mg. This is the only term with an x, and this is the only term with an x dot. So then minus d by dd of dl dx dot. So that's going to be 6 over 4 by the power rule, which is 3 halves m x dot equal to 0. Or mg is equal to 3 halves m x double dot so i just take the time derivative so i get x dot turns into x double dot and then i moved it over to get rid of the negative the mass says you can divide out and we see that x double dot our acceleration is 2g over 3. so that's how we could use the lagrangian to solve this problem
hopefully that helps somebody.